flew across the ocean. I know that look here. Uh, that's horrible. Hey, so Jordan, we were just playing a clip here. We were talking about K-Rock. And, uh, and, you know, you and I had lunch a couple weeks ago, and, uh, which was great. We talked about a lot of things. You didn't tell me anything about Chester joining STP. So if I ever have a secret to keep, I know you can handle it. How did that whole well, thing? Well, I could <laughs> I could have told you, but I had to kill you. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think there were some trust issues there. I, I don't want to seem sensitive, but but whatever. So <laughs> anyway, people want to know. How, I want to know. How did that whole thing come about? Well, um, tur turns out that uh, STP was uh, Chester's favorite band when he was growing up. He used to have posters of the band in his, in his you know, <laughs> in his bedroom walls. And... Uh, when the band decided to uh, look for a new singer, they uh, they actually reached out to uh, Chester. And uh, funny enough, he had told his uh, wife when they first met 10 years earlier that uh, one day he would get a call from STP to be the singer. And uh, I guess uh, I guess he was prophetic about it. That, that is unbelievable. I, got, I was kidding around here, but I wasn't really kidding. You know, we had Ben Kenning from Incubus was in the studio last week, and we were talking about, he was talking about replacing, you know, Alex uh, Dirk Lance from Incubus and how difficult that was. And I, and I know it's difficult replacing band members, but with the greatest respect to the band members, God, replacing a singer that's the voice of a band, that's a really tough one. And I haven't seen something this good since Sammy Hagar replaced David Lee Roth. I, it, I think that's brilliant, you know? <laughs> So, yeah. Well, um, yeah. I mean, I, I, Chester actually, I've heard him on several occasions. You know, backstage with Linkin Park, uh, having him, you know, hearing him warm up to uh, to STP songs. So uh, it's really, you know, something he was really passionate about. And um, you know, they they talked about it, got together, tried it out. It just felt real good to them. You know, of course, Chester. Uh, you know, his main obligation is still with uh, with Linkin Park, but. Um, you know, he, uh, you know, they, they, they went right into the studio, worked on a song, and, um, and then decided to, rather than talk about it or tell people about it, decided to just show people what it is at uh, Weenie Rust last weekend. They, they were just kind of dreaming and doing it. I love that. We played a little bit of the track, and I love it, man. I just think it's a great move. Hey, what's the chances, you know, you and I were talking about Wednesday, when are you going to have me back again? Um, what's the chances of us getting you and, uh, you know, the guys in... STP and yeah, I know Chester doesn't live here in LA. Getting him on Skype and have a little chat about it. what? What do you think? Not to put you on the spot, yeah, big boy. I, no, I definitely think that's something we could uh, look at doing when I'm uh, back in town. And um, yeah, I. I I think that it would be uh, kind of fun to hear it from the guys uh, on mouth how they uh, how they put this together. So. I, I would I would love it. 